We're just yeah. we're doing it live to tape. We're just doing it live, and then I'm just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna post it immediately. This is that's that's how this is gonna work. You ready? We're gonna let's do it. Fucking fly right through this. Let's do it. You fucking ready? Let's do it. All right, fourth time. Fourth time is the try here in week six, 2021. The Revolution, Ruben Yanez Fantasy Football League. Correct. Yes, I don't know what's going on. Techn technical difficulties galore, but doesn't matter. We're going to get this episode out, even if it's the last thing we do in week six, because then it's going to be right. week seven. And, and then oh, just... week seven is already here, man. What you mean? Oh, my God, you're right. Yeah, that's right. I'm thinking about the past. We're in the future. Right. We're going to play a little future game a little bit later. Don't worry, though. We're actually going to just, we're going to check how wrong we were. Anyway, week six. Let's start off with some scores. Here we go. The San Francisco Shabooms are back on track with their victory over the Oakland Oysters, 127 to 118. With huge, huge, uh, was it? Uh, huge performances from Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. Right. Um, the Oysters just didn't have enough this week, but it's everything is so close. I, That's right. I can't stress that enough. It's everything is close. And there's an extra game. It's early. That's right. That's right. And the uh, South Hayward Alfredo Foyles are continuing their winning ways. They're going against the San Jose Droid Live Matters, taking out the uh, San Jose Droids. 125, 109. I mean, Josh Allen's having himself, had himself a night, going to have himself 30 points. Marvin Jones Jr., or Melvin Jones Jr., Marvin. 25 points. And Travis Kelsey, 18. Adam Thielen with 31. Gordon Sutton, 23. Aaron Jones, 21. Man, that guy is a working horse right there. So yeah. Gordon, uh, uh, Gordon Aaron? Sutton. Uh, Aaron? Aaron? Uh, uh, A-Ron. A a A that's right. That's that's what it was. A A Ron. A A Ron. That's it. That guy. <laughs> when does he not score twenty points? I think like just the week Bro. one, but that was you know whatever. That was it. That was a that was it. Anyway, speaking of winning ways, and and just for a second, the entire world thought that the King Trolls had fallen, had fallen from grace. But they found a way to come back. They right. found a way to come back. Unfortunately, it was over Dayman. Kyler Murray just keeps on doing it. I mean, Kyler Murray, yes, Dalvin Cook is a beast. Yes. What is that? Uh, what's the Robinson? Jay Robinson? I forget his first name. James. Yeah, James, James that's it. All these guys are good, but it's 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 the Kyler Murray train. That's right. I I will tell you it. Uh, this is the complete Oakland A's bias. I I I, I love me so I love Kyler Murray. Anyway, Kyler Murray was unfortunately too much this week, and he's been too much for six teams so far. Six and zero oh, Cardinals. Wow. Right. Wow. wow. Anyway, the fifth place stacking trolls. They're they're climbing back. They're climbing back. Oh, man. The Oakland football team continue to find ways to win, man. And they do it huge. Bigly. Huge. Bigly. Huge. Huge ways to win. And, uh, and they won huge against the uh, Chagula Vistas Hufflepuffs, 137-76. to 76. I mean, Cooper Cup had himself a game against the Giants. Torched them. Cooper Cup. 36 points. Cooper Cup, man. C K U P D P man. Coop. And of course you've got Patrick Mahomes and Antonio Brown each scoring 26, 25 points respectively. The workhorse for the Chulula Vistas, of course, is DeAndre Hopkins with 21. The kicker is on there. Taylor Bass, 13. Hey man, that's 13 and from a kicker, man. That's right. That's, that's 13 right. from the kicker. And, of course, the uh, player that just got drafted to the Arizona Cardinals who would be getting throws from Kyler Murray, Zach Ertz. Oh, yeah. That's right. Now that's now you got multiple guys. You might you might want to trade Zach Ertz away. 
I'm sure someone needs a tight end. Yeah. Anyway, you know what? I, I just want to make this thing. I I feel like the Oakland football team is, is made up of of all like the mid card all stars. I love them, Patrick Mahomes, of course. Yeah, they can I think done, man. Cooper Cup. I don't know. I don't know about you, but Cooper Cup, while he's I think the best receiver on the Rams, he's always been like the second guy, at least on paper. You know, they got yeah. Robert Woods. They've always had all these other guys that always on paper is just, but he always comes through. Anyway, he's got that Antonio Brown. That guy's, he, it's an all star of the mid cards. But they come to win, 137-76. That's, right. like, That's right. They always find ways to help. Yeah. Win. The, sec- the second place, if you can see it right there, yeah. the second place yeah. of the football team. I was, I was about to mention that. That's why he's in second place. Yeah. Oh, man. Man. Oh, that's you. Speaking of actually falling a little bit from grace, and uh, I learned I, I learned something new this week. Hey, I, I finally learned what a bipper is. And it came at it came at a good time because I will say that uh, the Merced Bippers got their win uh, uh, bipped. That's right, the Cracker Killers just outright stole this victory from the Merced Bippers. Was it Najee Harris twenty five points? Sterling Shepard seventeen. That guy almost never gets no points. Bro, he was gout for like a couple weeks with a hamstring. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, you know why I know that? Because it happened in my game Ugh. against you. Ugh. And yeah, and but zero points that day. That that's right. Oh yeah, yeah. Tyreek Hill, twenty-three points, not enough. Teddy Bridgewater, twenty-one points, not enough. Arizona defense, fifteen points, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. One twenty-eight, one hundred one. The Cracker Killers take it. Oh, man, here it is, the game of the week. That's right. The Flying Grayson's taking on the Reservoir Dogs. And this is the week that the Reservoir Dogs decided to go first place, huh? 5 and one taking out the Flying Grayson's, 148-114. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, no, this this game oh, yeah. had huge implications. Don't forget, had the had the Flying Grayson's won this game, they would have actually been 4-2 and two and been way catapulted up to about second or third. Uh, yeah. But that did not happen. That did not happen. No, not even with uh, Derrick Henry's uh, 37-point night. <sighs> I mean, when you got a quarterback with and Ben Roethlisberger and I guess the Baltimore's defense did okay against the uh, Chargers. But uh looks like you need to put in another, uh, not another, but a new uh, quarterback. Ben Roethlisberger's not doing it anymore. No. C.D. No. Lamb. That, that's also a message to the, the Steelers themselves. He can't do it anymore. Can't do it anymore. You know when you Let know he used to go. threaten with with retirement. You should just call his bluff and said yeah. retire. Go ahead. Just we'll get your pension right now. Yeah, just throw Mason Rudolph out there. It it won't. It, yeah. He. It won't. It won't. It's matter. not gonna be that different. It's no. 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 C.D. Lamb. I mean, he he's a beast. That was a good pick right there. 37 points for the Reservoir Dogs. Jonathan Taylor, 30 points, who had himself another day. And Stephon Diggs, I don't know, man. Kind of, He's kind of quiet this season. Yeah. We're almost halfway through. Yeah, definitely up and down. Like, I know he's there right now, but he was, he's, not, he's not always there. Yeah, he's not always there. He's not always Mr. Reliable. Not he was last season. So, definitely. Definitely Reservoir Dogs uh, might get their numbers matched this week, but, you know, who knows? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Coming up next is the Week 6 Honey Buns and Crumb Bums. All right. First up, we got the Honey Buns this week. You know I hate to do it, but there it is. Dallas Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott. That's right. I, when you come out here, and throw for 445 yards, three touchdowns, 28 points, you belong on this list. Whether you're a cowboy or not, you belong on this list. Damn. 445 yards? Yeah. And three TDs? I felt like you should have got more. That's just my feeling. I'm not saying that it's wrong. I just felt like... Oh, man. No, you know what? It might be. It might actually be like 38. But we're going to go with 28. Yeah, we'll fix it later. 
Oh man, you know what? Spoiler. Spoiler. There are there are misprints in the next ones. Don't forget that one guy has two touchdowns coming up. That's Don't right. forget. Who's the honey bun for Don't this? Don't forget. Oh, yeah, yeah. This guy. Right here. Right here. 145, 145. 145. 145. That's right. 145 yards. Jonathan Taylor. All purpose. All purpose. This guy's a, this guy's, this guy's a beast, man. This yeah. guy's waking up. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. So nice. He he got he got it twice. That's 145. right. 145. 145. And a three TDs or two TDs. It was two. It was two. Which makes and yeah yeah yeah. Which actually that makes sense. So that's that actually had more probably. I don't know. We'll double check. Maybe I'll fix it in the post. Maybe not. Point being, these two were definitely <clears throat> the beasts this week. That's right. On crumb the other bums. end of that spectrum, we got the crumb bums. That's right. For every honey bun, there's a crumb bum. Darn right. And this week, this week I got to go with the defense because they all failed. Ten. Now I know that first set of stats says two sacks. Don't let that fool you. Don't let those sacks fool you. They allowed 34 points, and they did nothing else. They got scored on. She sure did. They got scored on, yet the offense did whatever they wanted. For real. That's why the Broncos ended up with negative two points, and that's why they're this six, uh, week six crumb bum. That's right, crumb bums. Oh, this guy. We had another terrible week. Well, no, not really. Gave him some points this week, but in week six, man, terrible. One yard, four receptions, one point. Austin Hooper, Cleveland Browns, terrible tight end that week. Week six. That's right, because we're in the we're in the future. We're in the future. In the year two thousand. The best one was with the Rock. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right, dude. You're right. Uh, it's twenty eight points with Dak Prescott because oh. he had a fumble and a an interception. Oh, okay. See? Yeah, you're right. All right. right. All over that bench, because sometimes we make the wrong decisions. And this week, I called the Bippers, who uh, unwisely, unwisely chose the bench, Jalen Waddle, who went out there with his 10 receptions, 70 yards, two touchdowns, 29 points. All over the bench. All over that bench, baby. All over. Oh yeah, Leonard Fournette. This guy had himself a night on Thursday, last Thursday night. Eighty-one yards, six receptions, forty-six yards of receiving, of receiving yards, and two touchdowns. That's right, thirty-one points, baby. That's right. He also had two touchdowns. Yeah. But hey, or just could have used those thirty-one points. It sure could have. But for not, it helped a lot. But nah, it was for not. All right. We are going to play this game again. That's right. Let's see if I remember the answers. All right. Let's see. Well, if you don't remember, it'll, it'll be not perfect because, hey, spoiler. What Minnesota Vikings player was the 2007 AP Offensive Rookie of the Year? Randy Moss, Dante Culpepper, Matt Asiata, or Adrian Peterson? I'm gonna go D, A P. Eric P. It's even. It's even in the uh, question there. Huh? Look at that! Look at that! The 2007 Adrian Peterson Offensive Rookie of the Year. <laughs> wow! Hi-yo. The Associated Press. What a quinky dink! What passing yardage milestone did Eli Manning reach in the 2007 season? Twenty-five thousand yards. 5,000 yards, 10,000 yards, or 1 million yards. What did I say? I want to say C. Yes, there is. C, 10,000 yards. What school did NFL quarterback Michael, the piece of crap Vic, attend? I love dogs. We all love dogs. Virginia Tech, Alabama. Florida State or Maryland? Go Turtles. Go, go with the uh, the Raiders, Virginia Tech. Wait, are they the Raiders? 
Yeah, the that's... Virginia Tech Raiders. Oh my god, that's super cool. That's also cool. Uh, also, the uh, the middle the middle Tennessee State uh, Red Raiders. Yeah, Virginia Tech. In 2013, Chip Kelly debuted as head coach for what team? Browns, Dolphins, Eagles, 49ers. We'll go with the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Right. And until everybody caught on and then and then they didn't. That's right, man. They were supposed to have a super team that year, I think. Oh. Yeah, that's what they had. They had, what, they had Namdi that year? Yeah, Namdi Asamoa. Yeah, Namdi Asamoa. Uh, no, I believe. Yeah. I think I think it was even like, wait, what, what quarterback was it on the team that said, man, we got a – that actually said that we got a super team. And then and then he got just absolutely killed. That's right. Uh, for saying he it. Got destroyed. Oh, man. Anyway. Anyway, someone, someone said it, and it was hilarious. All right. The Thursday night preview and or what did we get wrong? What was the final score on that? It was 17-14, dude. That was terrible. 14 It wow. was definitely under 44 and a half. Wow. Definitely under 44 and a half. See, that was close. Not for the Browns, though. Yeah. Well. I chose the Broncos to win. But, no, the Browns won. Well. <sighs> It happens. Crazy. It sure does. It sure as hell does. It happens. Wow. Wait a see see like it's always it's always fun when you're just making the prediction. Now that I gotta face the prediction. True. I'm like, oh man. Oh man. Oh, and I was Close talking all that smack. Anyway. I think they covered too. I think the Browns covered. It was negative five and a half points. Yeah, so that they have to win by five. Oh, they won by three. They won by three? Yeah. No, they didn't cover. They did not cover. They did not cover. I totally missed All right, that. go Broncos in that case. <laughs> For real. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a quick look at the at the week six, at the standings as of week six. Not taking into account yet that uh, that Thursday game for week seven. And sure. uh, like we alluded to earlier in the little parentheses, you can see that the Reservoir Dogs are uh, chilling nicely at first place. Uh, so far, power rankings. And with a 5-1 and one record, and we have the Oakland football team, the Alfredo Boyos, the Peppers, and the King Trolls all tied for uh, tied for second. But really, it's along of second, third, fourth, and fifth uh, with a tiebreaker of all that being the overall fantasy points. Which aren't... I think the difference between each team at that point is about... 10 to 15. Uh, yeah. and then after that, um, you got the Krakakillas and the Flying Graces at 3-3. Three and three, Which, and, you know, those two teams could have just... They could go up and down. Yep. And down. right in the tail end, over at 2-4 uh, at and 1-5, and five, we have San Jose, San Francisco, Oakland, <laughs> Oysters, Chula Vista, and Dayman. <laughs> We added an extra game, everyone. It's so, so not as, it's not, the, yeah, the the game, the teams aren't far apart. It's like, plus I plan to place, I plan on, I plan on murdering everyone. It's I'm playing spoiler for all. Anyway, those are the, uh, the week six standings. And that is. That's it. The 2021 Week 6 Review. It is done. It has been done successfully. Fourth time was the charm. 